Hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for another part of The Sims 2 Strange Town. Alright, so we are done with our introductions to our families that we're going to be playing in The Sims 2 Strange Town. And let me tell you guys, um, we're going to struggle this part, okay? We're back with the Beaker family. So if you don't recall the last time that we've left off with them, I kind of about killed Nervous Subject. I don't know. I just thought it'd be fun to, like, experiment on him, even though I wanted to save him. So, yeah, we're starving to death. We're having hunger desperation. Our hygiene's down, our social's down, our fun's down, our sleep's down. Everything is dwindling. Um, so I guess we're going to go out here and cook and grill and we're going to try to save him. But look, he wants to move out. I'm going to save that. Not really sure when that's going to be a possibility for him to move out. But I definitely want to make sure we do that. Looks like Loki is struggling with uh, some roaches. So, okay, we can't we call a service? Yeah, I want to call a service, an exterminator, and take care of this. Not really sure. I mean, their house isn't that nasty. I don't know where they're coming from. But, let's see. We're going to call an exterminator. And we want to kiss Kersey, so we're going to go ahead and save that. And look. Yeah, we want to do that. Okay. Look. So, with all these families, I kind of... I'm going to go with the flow, which, you know, sometimes it's, you know, not exactly the way you want it to, to go like you planned but I, I do kind of have like goals set in mind for these families and one of them of course is being nervous as like our main focus here because let's be honest Loki and Kersey are twats for doing terrible things to nervous and just experimenting on him even though they did save him from his psycho serial killer mother I mean I don't know it's kind of a messed up situation uh, I'm still not very fond of them, so we're really going to focus on Nervous, and I really, really want him to move out. He does want to move out. He also wants to become best friends with Pascal, so let me know what you guys think. Do you think that um, Nervous and Pascal are more than just friends? I know a lot of people tend to take that route in their storytelling with Strange Town. And I don't know if that's something that you guys want to see again or if you have different opinions. But before I make any decisions, I do want to know y'all's opinion on that. So, um, I don't know. I mean, we're, we're kind of bonding, it looks like, with uh, Loki after what happened. We're just kind of chilling. He looks so sad. But anyways, we're going to grab however many plates we need to get that hunger up. I mean, it's not too bad. If I could just get him to eat... Take a Why are you shooing him? Oh, he's trying to take a sponge bath. He's telling... Oh, that's... I didn't know that something... That, okay, okay. I mean, just... I mean, hey, you know, sometimes... I'm not even going to lie, you guys. I've done this before. You know, if I'm feeling lazy, got somewhere to go, you know, don't have time to get up or didn't want to get up in time to take a shower... I just, you know, put in some dry shampoo and I just, you know, take a rag and some soap and bathe all the parts that are necessary. You know, there's no shame in it. I'm not judging, nervous. I mean, there is a shower. <laughs> so I'm a little concerned with why he did just go to the shower, but we're not going to question too much. All right, so Kersey is at work and let's see, when does he have work again? 10 a.m. So he has work tomorrow. Um, he needs to work on his cooking and his cleaning skill. I mean, kind of hard to do anything. We're about to, oh yeah, we're just like walking in, just like cleaning up casually. Okay. Awkward, I know, but it is what it is. I thought this was hot dogs. Is this hot dogs? Is that what, hold up. Yeah, but it's not filling them up very well. See, that's, like, the annoying thing about The Sims 2. Love The Sims 2. But there are some, like, annoying aspects of it. And one of them is that you have to... If your Sim is starving, you have to eat a ton of food to fill it up. And, it, you know, sometimes better quality meals get your hunger up more. But sometimes your Sims don't have the cooking skill that they need. So in situations like this, we're just kind of binge eating the heck out of some hot dogs. I'm not really sure why Loki keeps trying to come and talk to us. We're clearly not interested in being your friend, buddy. But, I mean, hey, you would think that they hate each other, but they actually don't. 
You know, he, he doesn't just... Okay, well, yeah. Wait, okay, so I'm trying to remember. Yeah, so he he dislikes Loki a lot more than he dislikes Cersei, but they actually have a higher relationship than what he has with them, so he think, they think that they have a decent relationship, <laughs> but it turns out Nervous is like, no. Love flower sack baby. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's he's going crazy. I mean, that's why I really want him to get out because he's struggling, y'all. He really is. But we're going to... Okay, if we eat one more hot dog, we should be good. I'm, I'm thinking we'll be good. We're going to have Loki. I mean, okay, if you don't like him, if, he's, if his presence is bothering you, leave, dude. So, yeah. Oh, he's talking about a job. Another question. Since we're focusing on nervous... What do you think that, you know, once he moves out, like, what kind of career do you think that he would aspire to have? I don't know. Let's see who it is that's calling us. Looks like some of Kersey's friends. Okay, well, you know what? Kersey, is she is she pretty popular? I didn't know. Okay. So we have Ash, hmm? Abij, Abij, Abijit. We're going to call him Abby for short. And looks like Meredith are her friends. Cool. Okay, well, okay, she's a little bit more popular than I thought. All right, so he also uh, is, like, dying to have some, like, entertainment in his life. And he is also really wanting to sleep. So I guess what we're going to do is have him. No, that's not your bed. I wish you can claim beds. This is your bed. So, I mean, don't, don't overstep your boundaries don't go like sleep in guest bedrooms in the house or the master don't go sleep in their bed that'll really piss them off let's come sleep in our bed and then i guess have him sleep a little bit so he can maybe like play on his computer or something play some sims 3 you know what kind of how i use the sims to escape from my reality and dream big you know <laughs> we're gonna have him wake up and kind of do that kind of create him his sim self in a better life. So, yeah, it looks like Loki is over here taking a nice little bubble bath. Uh, when is Kersey going to get home? Looks like Kersey is going to be home uh, 6 p.m., which is shortly. Why did you not take a full shower? I mean, you could continue to take a shower. They are both adults. Yeah, yeah, they're both adults. I wonder... I wonder if they want to have kids. You know, I don't. I don't know. What, what do you guys think? Do you think they should have kids? I think. I, I think that's something I want to do. <laughs> I mean, I can just imagine them having like a little demon, <laughs> like scientist child, the spitting image of themselves. Uh, I don't know. I kind of just want to. I mean, I, I'm focusing on nervous, but I do kind of want to follow Kersey and Loki. Kind of figure out what we can do with them. Um, but, like, we have a lot of stuff to do with them. Look at all their toys over here. Like, what is this? Absorb skill from Nervous? You can absorb their stuff? That is, that is strange. Offer medicine to practice lying. Offer lessons. Okay. So, I mean, I can definitely see him doing that. Kind of offering lying lessons and teaching Nervous how to lie. Just, just, ugh trying to make him like his little minion or something because he's not a nice guy all right so kersey has brought a friend home from work today and it is it is a, it's a man it's a man she brought a man home from work today i do not think loki is going to be okay with that but she also has been promoted to resident so you've been promoted to a night shift residency in the emergency room this is an obviously stressful position so make sure your home is a comfort in place. You'll need fun, rest, and proper meals, or you won't succeed if you work on the proper diagnosis, care for tough cases, and develop a good bedside manner. Your promotion to general practitioner will come quickly. So she now works from 6 p.m. to 1 a.m. starting immediately. So yeah, she brought home the dough today, and let's see who her friend is. Okay, so Shay Johnston, okay. Well, I mean, I, I guess she, oh, she can come on. Oh, what? Is she, is she? Oh, okay. Maybe they're just having a conversation and she's very pat. Oh, no. I think she was being a little rude. I, okay. Um, I guess we could introduce him to Loki since we did invite him over. I think the proper thing to do before he just, like, kind of waltzes up in their house is to 
<laughs> introduce him to our husband. Be like, hey, this is my friend. You know, we're, we're cool. We're friends. I promise. <laughs> so Loki is a. Uh, what was he doing in the middle of cleaning up? And I guess he's going to meet Shay. Uh, I don't know. He's not a very friendly guy. I don't see him, you know, having a lot of company at the house. He's probably thinking, you know, what the F? Why, why, who is this? Why are you here? But hi, nice to meet you. Okay. You can go now. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, she is making it very known that they are very much in love and that Shay doesn't stand a chance. I mean, I don't know, might answer my question on if they should try for a baby or not, but I both, I kind of also see them both being so career focused that if they had a child, it would probably not be good. I, I mean, I'm not saying that they would torture their child, but I think that the child would get neglected because they're so focused on their careers and all of that like they don't seem like they have any interest in being parents so maybe not even though they did they did adopt nervous don't get me wrong that's something that they did do but at the same time I, I don't know I don't know if that's in the books for them I really don't but anyways they both need to have some fun and social so I think I'm gonna have them both come up here and relax and at least have them do a little bit of a woohoo you know kill two birds of wood stone Kind of get that fun up in that social, you know. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and wake Nervous up and have him work on his fun. I really needed to accomplish his his nice little skills here in order, not skills, mood, in order to kind of like focus on him and get him out of this house. Like, I feel so bad for him. Look, he also wants to get married and jump rope. And flirt like he just wants a normal life so bad all right so they're both up here cuddling let's oh wait how do we do this woohoo let's yeah let's woohoo i'm not gonna have them try for a baby so let me know what you guys think do you, you agree with me do you see them being parents or do you disagree do you see them being parents let me know i need to know lots of questions for you guys to answer in this part i need help let's give them a little bit of privacy I think that as far as nervous goes, part of me is so used to seeing him and Pascal always ship together and everybody kind of has them date and get married and all of that. But I kind of want to take a different route just because that's the most common route and just have them be best friends. And, you know, just because they're friends doesn't mean that there's anything more. But, you know, some people, like I said, a lot of people do take that route, which is fine, perfectly fine. But I don't know. I kind of want to see if Nervous can get out and maybe go on some dates and just kind of, he needs to find himself. Do you guys agree? He has been in this little cell in this house, tortured, and he's had a jacked up life. Like, it's, it's been bad. So, I mean, I think he needs to get out on his own and kind of figure out what he wants, what he likes. And, you know, I mean, Pascal can be his friend. Now, if, if it leads to more, then so, so be it. It does. So I think these two are sleeping now. Okay, yeah, cool. Nervous. Uh, <sighs> he was just trying to <laughs> his luck. He was just trying to make a nice freaking TV dinner because he's starving. What do you know? What do you know? I'm so glad that this house already had a freaking alarm installed or he'd probably be dead with my luck in the fires on The Sims 2. But thankfully, Dorian, Miguel, is here to the rescue. I mean, are they awake? No, they're, they're snoozing right through it. They, they don't even care. Um, did it burn our stuff? He's, yeah, he's just, he's gone nuts, y'all. He, he just, uh, mm, he just really needs to get out and get a life. I really think it'll do him a lot of good. Now we can't even, oh, we have to take another bath and we can't even eat our meal. Like, we can't, we can't even throw it away. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I mean, what else can we cook? I guess we could have, like, a snack. But, I mean, that, we, we need we need to have, um, like, a, an actual meal. That, that'd be great. I mean, we I guess we need to work on our skills, you know, especially if we're planning on kind of getting out on our own. Oh, my gosh. How come every time I tell him to do something, it interrupts him doing whatever he's doing? So he's having him, like, a little instant liquid meal i guess but uh 
He's struggling. I'm struggling. I was hoping by morning time I'd have his needs up. We can maybe invite Pascal over, kind of plot our escape, kind of talk to him about his pregnancy. <laughs> um, not his pregnancy, Pascal's. Uh, just kind of getting some advice because, you know, advice from a guy knocked up by an alien is just like the logical, you know, it's the logical thing to do. It's the go-to person. Um, Oh, okay. Well, okay, Loki, that's that's kind of you to serve some breakfast for us. Okay, so Loki is serving some omelets, so you know what? That's great. We're going to come over here and take another shower while Loki cooks for us. All right, so Kersey and Loki are having breakfast, and I think they're talking because they've noticed that Loki obviously has been struggling up. But he's become a little bit ambitious. They obviously kind of control what he does. They see his search history. They know he's, he wants to get out. And they can't keep him anymore. He is an adult, you know. I mean, they'd go to, like, prison probably for, like, safekeeping or kidnapping or something if they, you know, tried to keep him from, from leaving. So they know that they can't keep him literally from leaving, you know what I'm saying? So they're kind of talking about it, like, you know, what are we going to do? Like, what if he tries to leave? You know, who are we going to, you know, we're not going to have anybody for a test subject. You know, and I think that's another reason why Nervous kind of feels obligated to stay. Like, he really wants to leave. He knows it's in his best interest to get the heck out of here. Or, you know, he's he's just going to lose his mind um, or, or be killed, you know. Um, but he knows that the way Loki is they might take somebody else in his place and he wouldn't want anybody to go through what he's went through and it, it kind of has what is it the Stockholm Syndrome is that what it is I hope I'm right I should know what I'm talking about <laughs> or I should know if that's the correct term because I watch so many like true crime and stuff like that um you know he basically feels you know, a connection to them in, in a weird way, like, um, like, he needs to stay, I don't, I don't know, you know what I'm saying, you know, you know what that is, I know, maybe not, I don't know, but they kind of, like, stop their conversation, they're trying to, like, give him his freedom a little bit, and try to talk to him, so maybe he'll want to stay, because maybe he'll learn that life might be a little bit easier if he has a home where he can be provided food, you know, it'd be hard for him probably to get a job with no skills because he doesn't have many skills. So, I mean, I don't know. A lot of decisions, a lot of conflict going on. But, I mean, my goal is definitely to help him get out. Like, I think that he's going to realize, and that's why I kind of want to talk to Pascal, kind of, like, make some friends. I kind of have them be the ones that push nervous to get out. Like, you need away from them. They're toxic. They're crazy. They're psycho. <laughs> So, I don't know. I mean, I kind of want to have them try for a baby for that reason because, you know, if if he does leave nervous, then, I mean, they're going to be kind of lonely, just them two. I think we need to, you know, maybe have a child, maybe something they wasn't planning for. I don't know. Lots and lots of decisions to be made in this LP. You know, we're just starting out just starting out in the storytelling so I really need your guys opinion on what do you think would be the best choices for this family should nervous stay should nervous go should nervous date Pascal should nervous date other people find out what he likes find himself should Loki and Kersey have a child I mean I mean they're cute I guess like I mean they're weird they're kind of jacked up people if you ask me but they have a loving relationship I don't know they're kind of creepy you know, they're creepy, but they love each other, and they're they're cute. I mean, he's out here playing football, tossing the football in his underwear with her. They completely suck. <laughs> but, hey, you know, it is what it is. It looks like we have some mail, so let's, like, chill out here and get the mail. All right, so Loki does have work today, so I'm going to have him kind of come and, like, get his skills up. I see, like, why are you still hungry? Why are you still hungry? It's kind of ridiculous. We're going to go ahead and have her pay that bill back to, well, freaking $600. Their bills are expensive. No wonder they are go-getters. Like, they live in this, I mean, it's kind of weird, but it is a luxurious house. They have a lot of cool stuff that probably 
uh, it's costing them some some work to pay it off you feel me but she also has that fortune aspiration they well he has the knowledge and she has the fortune so you know she's kind of high maintenance she wants a, a lot of good stuff you know what i'm saying um so we're gonna oh my god they're both still hungry it's so annoying so we're gonna have them grab a plate but anyways you guys um because they're about to go to work and because we still have our poor nervous down here trying to catch up on his sleep from where I almost killed him in our introduction, I'm going to wrap this part up here. Like I said, we're just starting with our storytelling. We have a lot of decisions to be made, so I need your guys' help. So if you have any opinions, any ideas, please, please let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not. And yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.